So one of the videos I've done for um, GSH just recently has been a series of using um, PIRs and contactors. Um, I, I wasn't able to actually wire them all up um, in every single scenario, but there is one scenario that I have got in my own workshop. So please, um, please forgive the mess. So I've just opened the door. So the door's open. We walk in and straight away the lights have come on and so how have they come on without me physically touching them or turning on a switch I'm about to show you. Here we have the PIR and so again this is similar to the um, one of the circuits that we did um, on the on the video so it's I've walked in and the PIR has picked me up and it's turned the lights on now you can see there's six fluorescent lights in here and so they're not drawing an awful lot of electricity but there's quite you know there's there's quite a bit of initial load as soon as you turn them on now the PIR is very good for when you're working in you're walking in and it's um, and it comes on and if you're carrying something then it's great but the problem is is if i'm working somewhere else in the garage like in my car or something after about 20 seconds the pir will go off it won't go off while i'm stood here talking because the um because it's picking me up all the time you'll notice that i've got a little bit of red tape on here that's to pick that's to stop the people walking past outside and when the doors are open and stopping them from, from coming um from from that for them picking them up so i'm working in here what I can do is I can turn this, press this switch. It's a three position switch. So I turn it into the off position and then back on again. And what that has done, that has now overridden, overridden the PIR. And so while I am in here working for a long period of time, I'm not just walking in and out. I will then will just turn the button on and um, or turn the switch to that position. And so now these lights stay on all the time. Now the middle position is just with the lights turned off. Okay, so everything is off. There's no, the PIR will still be operating because it's still got a live supply going down to the PIR, but it won't be operating the contactor. Now it's the first time I've spoken about the contactor. So underneath here is our little contactor. Um, the contactor itself is a bit big for the operation for what I need it to be, but these it's just what I had um, just to do just to get the to get the job done. The, it only needs to be about a 20 amp contactor, so we'll change that at some point. So every time I turn the switch on, so that's now in that position, the contactor, the PIR operates the contactor, and then the contactor supplies the lights up there. And so it's all relatively simple and and that's how it is so that's one of the videos um, that's been released